Save our service. Save our service. Dozens of postal workers rallied Monday afternoon not only to save their service, but also their jobs. 350 people are at risk of losing their jobs here in Colorado Springs if this plant closes. Bader works at the mail processing plant in Colorado Springs and says moving the office to Denver will hurt more than just employees. Taking care of our veterans, ensuring overnight delivery, stopping home foreclosures. There's so many things involved in this, people don't want to lose their post office. Protesters say if the office is closed, local mail service could become, well, snail mail. People could have late payments on bills, they could have late payments on mortgages, and they'll be penalized for that, and they had no control over that. We pride ourselves on service. I, I mean, like next day, especially next day service. Many protesters believe the Postal Service's financial situation and resulting consequences could have been avoided. The thing that caused the financial problems in the Postal Service was Congress in 2009 passed the Postal Accountability and Enhancement Act. If you eliminate that law, we will be in a positive cash flow situation. Through a week of protests and hundreds of flyers given to citizens, postal workers hope their service can be saved. Congress broke this, Congress can fix it. Do we want to pay more for postage and get less service? No! In Colorado Springs, Kelly Worthman, Fox 21 News.